again everyone, Eric Stockman with Charter Bay Home Builders and in this video in our Chinese Travel Remediation Series we're going to talk about how we actually collect photographic evidence during the demolition process. A couple things that we do. Um, the first thing that you have to be aware of is that per Judge Fallon's order, which is the order by which any drywall remediation should be conducted if you have anticipation or plans that you're going to end up in a court of law, per his order, every single board that comes out of this home has to be photographed. What that means is that this home cannot go into the demolition phase like a normal home. Guys can't just come in here and start tearing drywall out from every which way, from different rooms and different locations, the way that a normal demolition process could get underway. It has to be very orderly and very controlled and it has to be room by room by room. That's so that you can actually document what each board is. The first thing we're going to do, and this for us starts tomorrow, is we have a crew of four or five guys who will come in and they will come in and actually loosen up all of this board. On this wall, for example, you probably have two and a half boards stacked up, so there'll be seams. They'll come in with utility blades and they'll run the seams so they loosen the board. They'll also go around and they'll take up all of the corner bead, all of the beading that's holding the boards in place. The idea is that this is in preparation for Tuesday after tomorrow, where on that day we will begin the demolition. So, we're now on Tuesday and it's time to start the demolition. What we'll do is we have to start at the farthest point away from the front door. The idea is we're working out our way back out to the front of the house. We go through room one, do the process, room two, do the process, and now we're in room three. The way that it has to be done in order to collect the photographic evidence, this is going to be a sheet of drywall right here, four foot by 12 foot as a guess. What the guys will have to do is they'll have to pop this board off Flip it over so that you can see the back side of it, and then a photograph will have to be taken of that board. You'll have to have a regular demolition crew doing the work, but you'll also need, in all likelihood, two people whose only job during the days of demolition is to collect samples. What their job will be is one of them will be actually taking photographs, writing the photograph numbers on a log, and then the other person is there and they're actually taking samples. If we flip this over and we have evidence of Chinese drywall, they'll want to take a sample of it. Not every single board, not every single mark. We'll talk about that in a different video. So for the photographs, each board, you start at the bottom, they pop it off, they flip it over, they t you take a photograph of it. Then what you have to do is go back to your floor plan. And on this floor plan, you have to indicate every single sheet that was pulled off and the photo number that actually matches that sheet. It's an intensive process. So what you'll do when you start off is you're going to zero out your camera so the first photograph you take is number one. What we do on our floor plans, the floor plan is one dimensional. It's very difficult to make numerous marks indicating on a three dimensional wall which locations were Chinese drywall and which weren't. So we cheat just a little bit and we bring in lines so that it looks as though these walls are three-dimensional. We can then write this whole space being for 3B, this wall, this whole space for 3C, that wall. We can then write that this first sheet at the bottom was Chinese drywall, and it's picture number one. The second sheet was Chinese drywall, picture number two, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then, per the order, you have fulfilled the requirement. You've taken a photograph of every board, you've indicated it on a floor plan, and you've indicated which picture number it was on the floor plan. You've then achieved the photographic evidence requirement per Judge Fallon's order. That's it for this video. In uh, another video, we'll talk more about the actual evidence collection of samples for the drywall, because that's a whole different process. Till next time, this is Eric with Charter Bay Home Builders.